Moesha Budong, Ghana's former number one slave queen, is in a very big uh, trouble, HSA. As of now, no. Uh, news of her uh, trending massively on the internet. Now, a few days ago, a uh, news uh, about out and it's a uh, Moesha Budong, a uh, Yari seriously, HSA, or Okoma. Now, a blog so much at the farm, you know, STT say, a Moesha Budong's brother, and uh, HSA, a uh, confirming this particular news. Or see, Moesha's half a uh, body part, and uh, Yejuma, a uh, uh, right side of her body. Now, according to a report, normally they call hospital, a doctor say a stroke and a winya. Update aba and it's a moesha budong, a wokoma musia, a chese, and ye as a cra. Now, family members, I said to go find me, a chese, almost says a sikaka cra, almost target a ten thousand a Ghana cities, which of course would be above hundred and twenty thousand currently. A chese, and they need that amount of money to. Uh, support her medical bills and treatment now among this particular uh, report no i could say a bit of debate on social media so yebe kaya moesha budong was one time the hottest uh, Ghanaian slave queen uh, she traveled across the world uh, with her body shape arches on one kasampo edibeto out say uh, on dating small boys on dating we on dating we or no uh, she's into married men you know she's into rich boys among others and see uh, people are kind of hurt say uh, and moesha budong of all people upon all the enjoyment or enjoy and you know, chilling you know, uh, she said, Onya ten thousand uh, dollars per her standard infantry t and uh, home. Now, now, your dream said this report was just a rumor. Which is screen is what that is her GoFundMe account. Ah, she said, uh, trending massively uh, on the internet. A lot of people are donating their token as of now. Uh, she said, Omapa a thousand dollars, one morning, I'm thousand five hundred dollars plus. Ah, uh, a year donations from thirty five. Uh, people indicating say a uh, report say omo ye go find me to support her health no any intro a ye no cray into way any update via a uh, bar on a moisha budong bit me do a drink chair a fa your comment session no am i for the meantime moma yon question a recent interview ah oh yeah yeah i just or casa a defined life from emro g jesus christo among goddess near time say Vimba TV, so. A few steps back because when it comes to the issue of trolling and people being negative, especially on social media, you say there was a time when, when you went on social media, the comments would make you feel Vimba. bad. Yeah. What was it in particular that you found very difficult to deal with? What comments really got to you? Just because I got my body done and I took a boudoir photo shoot, that shows part of my skin and that's who I was. Is that where it started from? It started with my half nude picture. Mm. That's how Ghanaian just like <gasps> jumped on me. I was like, wow, then am I in Kofo? Like, I was so sad. I was like, wow, I really went through a lot. I really went through a lot and so many attacks from fake pages. The whole Ghana can tell you, Moisha is the reason why people created fake pages. Mm. I was the origination of that. I was the reason why women actually go on social media to create page just to bring me down because maybe somehow they just felt like, oh, this girl is just so hot and maybe mm -hmm. all eyes were on her. And that was it. <laughs> all <laughs> eyes were on me. Let me, let me, let, let, let me allay your fears. I, I'm here to tell you, it wasn't only because of you. You are, you are in good company. There are so many others who have sparked that uh, mm. reaction. But I can understand if Moesha says that she's one of the more prolific celebrities who gets that that yeah. hit but people started creating fake pages from adam and eve i tell you <laughs> i tell you that so if that makes you feel better for as long as celebrities have existed people yeah. have been there to to bring them down the but they, so how do you then get yourself out of this like practically some people will go to church or they surround themselves with friends I know that you took to christianity and we'll talk about that some more would you say it's your faith and your love for god that has you know, created this new confidence from you? Was it your friends? What really brought you out of that place? So one minute, you're feeling down, suicidal. You don't know how you're going to go forward. The next moment, you're thinking, Charlie, forget these people. I want to move forward. What was the turning point? What really gave you that strength? When I joined social media and all this started, I went through so much hate. So all I did was to pray for people to have love. It was just too much. I don't... It was just so much, like... Every time Moesha, every time Moesha, and I think when 
people got to know that oh we made a start of it then it sort of wanted to bring you down yeah it sort of went down, but still, I got my attacks here and there, and I'm also so stubborn. I'll still give them sexy pictures, still give them boudoir, and they will start the same insult, which I'll never stop. So I started laughing who I was. I was like, you know what? I have a nice body. I'm going to show it off. I don't care what you call me or how you label me. At the end yeah. of the day, it's me and myself and what I want and how I love to appear or choose to live my life. So yeah. I didn't really care, and I feel like God was there, but I was not so Vimbas. closer to God like you are now, now. Mm. just in case somebody is watching is going through that depression is just going through a very hard time and just wants to say something to god to be able to get out of that space oh it's really hard sometimes when you're going through that you don't even remember god you know it's just like you're going through so much that you just don't know but all i can say is that we are all born differently and we all have a way of making ourselves feel better and if you are going through depression or suicidal thoughts, I just pray for God to just intervene. Because mm. sometimes when you're in that position, it's like the pain doesn't even make you remember to pray. It's like you're just lost, you're just saddened, and you're just grieving so yeah. much. And some people are lucky to have people around them. Some people yeah. don't have people around them. And I just pray for everyone going through that, for God to just intervene. Because God is so powerful that he can make you feel so better without even anyone coming around coming you. Around. Wow. Yeah, People absolutely. love sweet stories about See? me. So the bloggers use me a lot for like fake stories and stuff because when I even meet them, they're like, whoa, you made us cash out. That's what sometimes oh, wow. you are, Sometimes when, you, <laughs> when they come to me, they actually celebrate me. They're like, you are one of the reasons why we are famous. Wow. Because we said so many negative stuff about you. And wow. sometimes I cry and I go like, you know what? Maybe this is my gen. I can't even help it. Like... You guys destroyed me, economy, but it's, it's, it's really <laughs> affected me in some way. But you know, we you have want... so much unemployment. Uh, but, you know, 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 after the whole, um, it hasn't, no. you know, yeah. it has this mm -hmm. negative side. Yeah, of course. Why people see you in that light that they always portray you to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. It's very and true. forever when you are even at the top, people sort of label you as what people said about you and as much as you fight it. That's why it's stuck in people's head, and the people just hate you. And they want to still for no reason. They, they don't just know want you. you to be that girl because some people just hate you. They be they be. As for Moisha, we have to put in that we don't care whether she's the innocent one. She has to be tagged as that because yeah. we want the world to see as that. May God forgive anyone that have lied against me, Amen. and may God change everyone because I know I've been really touched by God and I've been changed. Amen. Amen. I know a lot of we're, people we're really have come out that. to me, said so many things. I keep getting attacks and attacks and I don't know when it's going to change. I've had media houses tell me people actually come to us and say we should say this about you and they give us so much money. Wow. Wow. That's how bad it has gotten to. So all I do is to pray to God that anything that is meant to be a distraction mm -hmm. or a disgrace should turn out to be a blessing to Amen. me. Amen. 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 That's a very Jesus powerful name. prayer. Amen. Amen. Do you regret opening up about some of your struggles? Do you wish you had just kept your mouth shut? Or are you happy that you were able to talk about it and move on? Because sometimes that's the first step to healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know I've seen stories, heard so many things, and I keep telling God, when is it going to change? Because it's like so many women are not happy being mistresses or side chicks or concubines to wealthy men so if god has touched me and he's he's changing my story may god change everyone's story because deep down many women don't even love the lives they are living mm. Mm. and talk to us shaking we pretend tables. Mm. that shaking whatever moisha tables. said is not happening but it's really happening mm. it's happening mm -hmm. and we are all not happy and proud about it but i i got the courage to, to share my story and true that Maybe God also listened to me and God was like, you know what, my daughter, I'm going to use you to change the world. You know so there are people who love you too, Moisha. I there, know. There, 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 there are, are people so who love, love you. you. You know something. Vimbaz TV.